Doing this for just two to four hours a week is linked to a 15 to 20 percent lower chance of cognitive decline, according to an observational study of over 30,000 people. I'm Dr. Elson Perlmutter, and if you care about your brain, follow this channel. Today we're talking about a study published looking at people age 50 or older where they were tracked for about 20 years. And what they found is the people who engaged in volunteering or helping others for around two to four hours a week had a benefit in terms of their rate of cognitive decline, meaning they had a lower chance of developing cognitive decline than people who did not volunteer or help others. Now, this is just observational data. There's no way to draw a kind of causal interpretation of this. But what we do know is that there are a number of reasons why helping others could be linked to better brain health. For example, volunteering has been linked to lower levels of inflammation. Helping others may help to temper stress pathways. And generally speaking, social connections are one of the most powerful things we know of in terms of predicting better brain health. So what do I take from this study? Well, certainly, again, it's just observational, but I think it's more than enough reason to prioritize helping others as a way to boost your own brain. As always, I will link the study below. I'm Dr. Austin Perlmutter, and for more on this and other types of brain-specific research, make sure you're following my channel. I'll talk to you